Hey guys, just a little update. I've made all my turning bits, spindles. Uh, I used to have these big ones as you saw in the last video. I grinded them down, drilled hole in, drills hole in the middle, uh, and then yeah, ran it through. And then I cut some thread and bolted it on, and bolted it on under there. So basically, um, what you do at the hardware store, they have these big clamps, um, big U bracket, sorry. Uh, and then I had these little bits sticking out here. I grinded them off, but there's still a little bit left there. I have to get the file and file that, and then this will move um, smoother. Although it moves all smooth out already, there's a little bit of gap there, which is because it's got like it's a bit of imperfections on it. Um, this whole thing cost me uh, about. Forty dollars, maybe, for both. But I also got a lot of thread as well. So if you add it up, it's probably about works out to be about fifteen dollars each wheel. So it's it's not that bad. Oh, about seventeen dollars, something like that. But it's cheaper than buying it at the go kart shop, and it's just as good, if not better. It's a bit stronger. A bit, um, not at the moment. Because it's not fully finished yet. But it's very sturdy. Um, usually with the ones you buy at the cart shop, they're about this big. And then they have, when you build your go-kart, you don't mount them straight onto the frame. Otherwise, you can only move your wheels that much. They have like a little tube, which I think is not... It, doesn't, it makes your... Um, where it mounts on, it makes it a lot weaker. This way I can just mount this thing straight onto the frame. There's no other bar here, so it's going to be a bit stronger. Uh, my turning is about 45 degrees all up. So about, yeah, that's how far I can turn, which will be okay. And, yeah, that's about it. Just made them today. I just got to file off those little imperfections and they'll work great and lock tight the bolts and stuff. So on Wednesday I'm going to weld up my frame and then I can weld this on and um, I'm going to make it live axle. I'm going to hopefully get a friend to make up my axle which will be like one inch and then go to three quarter inch and then I'm going to get a sprocket holder and instead of making a keyway in the, char um, in the axle I'm just going to weld the sprocket holder on. Because uh, it's pretty hard for me to get sprockets here. I have to order them over the net and I'm not sure if they're going to fit properly and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, using a live axle is going to be a bit better. So yeah, I should have my go-kart built by uh, maybe end of this week or maybe end of next week. Depends how slow or fast I go. So yeah, that's the update for today. See you later.